these old dirty tennis shoes. You know, these shoes, I have had these shoes since seventh grade. And that was, oh my gosh, why am I forgetting this? It wasn't that long ago. I was 14 probably. I don't even remember. I think it was 14. The point is, I've had these shoes for like six years. Actually, here's a funny thing. I didn't even want to buy shoes at the time. Like, I had this old pair of boots and then I also had a pair of these old Nike tennis shoes. I've had these shoes for this many years and everybody always cracks on my shoes. They're like, dude, upgrade a pair of shoes, upgrade a pair of shoes, like buy a nicer pair of shoes. Like, why do you wear those stupid tennis shoes? You know what I mean? It just doesn't matter to me. You know, it's one of those things that like, if they still slide on my feet and they're not getting in the way of my ability to walk, you know, I mean, they're not the most stylish thing. The front's peeling off on both the shoes pretty good but at the end of the day guys shoes don't define who I am and I really don't care that much about them that's just how I am you know I'm not the guy that's like oh, I gotta have 15 pairs of shoes that are all over 100 bucks a piece or 25 pairs of boots or whatever like I'm not a girl I'm not gonna go spending all that kind of money on shoes to have a different pair for every outfit and I did not mean to crack on the ladies I was just using it as an analogy in case there's a guy out there that does that to make him feel a little bit stupid you know it's just one of those things okay another pile going out this morning hats and shirts and hoodies and all sorts of stuff. There's also a bunch of bags of t-shirts and stuff at the bottom. So we're gonna get this loaded up in the OBS 7.3 and get on down the road. However, if you have not grabbed your orders yet to get your entries in to win that OBS 7.3, grab something while you can. I know it looks like we have a ton of stuff behind us, but this stuff does sell out fast. This is already a restock. All this stuff is already sold out and we are already having to restock stuff. Don't waste any time because this stuff will all sell out again. And then you're gonna be wishing that you bought something when the end of the giveaway gets here. And we're not gonna have unlimited inventory like we used to, which means stuff can sell out. And if I don't have enough time to get it restocked before the end of the giveaway, you're just gonna be out. Time to start the old furred up, the old furred. This thing fires up like a top every single time. Just absolutely awesome. Got my video uploaded for yesterday just now. So we're on our way to the bank actually right now and I'm gonna pick up several thousand more dollars to throw in orders. Like I said, we don't we don't just budget it out and go, okay, hey guys, by the way, you guys packing the orders, if we start to get low on money, just give everybody a lot less. That's not how we do it. We wanna make sure that everybody gets in on the opportunity. So if we start to run low on cash, I get a call that says, hey, we're running low on cash. I'm like, no problem. I'll grab a bunch more. We're gonna make sure everybody gets some. We're gonna be doing this until Saturday, like I said, August 15th, and then the $5 guarantee for orders, $25 or more, is over. All these people right here did, and uh, I mean, worst case scenario, the worst that could happen, even if you don't get a bunch of cash, the worst that could happen, if you get five bucks back and you spend $25, it's like a 25% off. So, I mean, just think about that. That's the worst case scenario. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Yeah, let's go pick this cash up, run to the post office, and we will catch you guys back in a bit. Saying goodbye to the 24s on the Ford. As long as I have a lug tool to get those off. The guy that I bought the truck off of is supposed to run me the socket to get the uh, wheels and tires off, but I might actually have a super deep lug socket here, but we'll find out if I have the right size one. I'm not sure if this will work or not, but regardless, I know for a fact the first thing I'm gonna have to do is put a different set of wheels and tires on this truck. That way I can even consider swapping wheels and tires over. So what I'm actually gonna be doing is taking the stock set that came off of the 2015 that we just gave away, the six speed. I'm gonna be taking these, put them on the, putting them on the first gen, and then after I get these on the first gen and these will be off, then I can swap the tires off of this truck put them in the barn, and then put these ones on it. So for all of you guys that hate forged wheels, enjoy this video. The time is never stopping. Only gave the kid one option. Go to school and get a job, but it's so common. All around me, they slaving for the bills. But I knew I wanted more. Told my boys that we could make it to the hills. Living real, doing what I love. Going day to day, but I know it takes time. And I'm patiently waiting. Sometimes I contemplate, cause one day you feel so close, and the next is out of sight. But I know I gotta hold on tight to go back to just going out every night like if I'm about to let it go now I can live all right live a normal life do a nine to five but I know I'm more than that I gained this skill wasn't born with that at the end of the life it's a memory and I want to know how to remember me either hate the kid for what I am or love the boy for what I'm not right. I hope you guys are happy here you go your 16 by 10s and your 33 by 12 50s no more no more deep dish no more dishes and it is on like a little bit of a slope I'm telling you, everybody's like, oh, dude, your truck squat. It's not squatted. It does have a big set of wheels and tires in the bed, though. Not that that's going to make it squat a lot, but, I mean, that's like 300 pounds, 350 pounds sitting in the bed. 
Um, so it might make a squat a little tiny bit away from level, I'm saying. I'm gonna get this thing started up and pull it out of here so I can show you around it a little bit better. There she be. No more 35 by 1350s and 24 by 14s. It actually has a decent poke on it still. I mean, it wasn't, it's not 10 inches out there, but I mean, it's, it looks good. It already rides so much nicer. Just taking it from the barn over to here, so, so soft in terms of like the ride, just super smooth. I could just tell. It's just the acceleration getting up to like 15 miles per hour. It, it was like effortless, you know what I mean? And uh, for seven three, that's pretty good. You could just tell like it didn't have to work so hard to spin those massive forged wheels in the back. I mean, that really, really does work this truck. All, I mean, these trucks in general, all these older trucks and newer trucks, it just works them a lot harder having to turn those giant wheels and tires which is just you know basic science it looks good i'm out of, i'm honestly uh i'm probably gonna leave it like this for a little while i was doing it mostly as a joke because of everybody that was just like oh i hate the wheels hate the wheels hate the wheels but honestly it does look really good and i never said i didn't like that look and i never said i wouldn't consider that when i bought the truck i said you guys want to see you know a set of wheels like this with a big set of swampers on it or something or whatever just like a, a an, an old school setup old school cool not you know the big deep dish wheels and tires and for the most part, most people said keep the forces. That was the most liked comment, said keep the forces. So I did that and just man though, like still like the people just raving about it. And generally speaking, you're only gonna have the people that don't have nice stuff that are leaving hate comments about your truck and what they don't like about it. And I'm not talking about opinions, just so you guys get that very clear. I'm not talking about the guys that are like, hey man, this is my style, you know, take it for what it is. I'm talking about the people that are like, go shoot yourself because those wheels are horrible, you ruined the truck. Those are the types of people I'm talking about. If you do want to enter to win this truck, Right now, every $1 is five entries to win this truck plus $5,000 cash. And that deal, the 5X entries ends tomorrow. So you got 24 hours left and then it's not coming back tomorrow night, Saturday, August 15th at 11.59 p.m. Only until then, every order over $25 gets a guaranteed $5 minimum cash back in their order. And it can just, it's all, it can only go up from there. We can't do less. So every order over $25 gets cash, $5 minimum, and you get products and you get entries to win this truck, plus $5,000 cash. What's there to dislike? And every order over $25 is gonna get cash in their order, $5 minimum. So head on over to lmpgear.com and every $1 will get you five entries to win that truck, plus $5,000 cash. But all inventory is limited and it will sell out.